Welcome, everybody, to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach, Jeff Copper. I've actually had a couple people uh, comment to me, you know, Jeff, you say that uh, ambiguity is uh, the root of like 80% of procrastination. I'm like, You're right. Understand there's two kinds of ambiguity. One is you just really don't know what to do. And the other one is your working memory doesn't have the capacity to hold it all. Um, you all have all the parts, but you can't put it all together. And so it's ambiguous because you can't really see the bigger picture. So some people have said, well, you know, Jeff, there's that thing chunking it down. Doesn't that help? And, you know, when you think break it into parts is a way of taking something that's ambiguous or maybe a challenge to work in memory and breaking it down so you can gain some clarity around that. In theory, it really works. But if you're watching this, you might find that chunking it down hasn't worked for you. So the question is why? Well, the tip is to go chunk it down. Well, what people do with ADHD is they go and they think, I'm going to plan on Thursday to chunk it down at 10 o'clock. And they sit down at 10 o'clock and they do everything but chunk it down. Why is that? Well, thinking is effortful for people with ADHD. If you watch my channel, you know that I talk a lot about working memory because it's an executive function. And if you have ADHD, it's impaired. Basically, and oversimplifying, thinking inside of your head towards a goal is impaired. It's harder for you. So you escape doing it. So here's the thing. Thinking inside your head is difficult. Thinking outside your head is a heck of a lot easier. So what happens is, is people take chunking it down and then go by themselves and think that they're going to do it inside their head. Well, that's an impairment too hard and they escape to something else. The idea with chunking it down is you, if you do it with somebody in the company of somebody or externalize it, it can be very, very helpful. So this is just an example of how lots of people are looking for shortcuts or like the simple answer. And it really, really kind of depends. And you actually have to own your ADHD because thinking inside your head is difficult and you might need to do it with somebody. The point of this video is really to kind of help you understand the role working memory plays in all this. And when you hear these solutions on the internet, if they're not working for you, there's usually a reason for it, an ADD reason. And I just really wanted to dissect this to kind of help people understand what's the root cause of some of this. And so anyway, I hope this has given you some pause to think about it. Um, if you have a lot of projects and you're having some difficulty and you recognize it's because you're not clear about it, chunking it down is a pretty good idea, but it's better to do it with somebody else than by yourself. Because when you're doing it with somebody, you're doing it outside your head, as opposed to just sitting and doing it inside your head using an impaired working memory. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button. We release, a, we release a tip like this each week to give you some insights to help you better manage your ADHD with intent. Uh, thoughts, comments, we love that. Please, what do you think of this? Does it make some sense? Can you identify it? Does it validate you? Um, or you have a little work around yourself. Anyway, love to hear from you. With that, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk video. Take care.